Hello, welcome to the Safal Niveshak classroom on why and how to create a stock watch list. While standing in the checkout line of a supermarket I visited recently, I saw a kid begging his parents to buy him some overpriced chocolates and toys, which I believe were purposely placed there to create impulse among the kids. Like me, even you must have noticed how supermarkets place such goods just at the checkout so that the customer who is already tired of roaming around the marketplace buys these easy to be picked but expensive items. You can get a lot of that similar stuff throughout the market far cheaper but then having them at the checkout is a great way the store manager can lead you to overpay. What is more, at most times he succeeds in doing that by convincing your emotional side into buying something without much effort. Like I bought a magazine which I later realized was always available at my library. Anyways, why am I telling you all this is because the stock market is very much like supermarkets where most investors buy any stuff which is stocks on impulse. Not willing to do the hard work of researching what's available at a bargain. What is more, there is no dearth of such impulse creating points of contact for the investor. Business channels, magazines, newspapers, just look anywhere and you will find a flood of wonderful stock stories quite often. You'll read about how great this company is and how its price is quite attractive after the recent crash. The story will make you agree with it so completely that you are ready to buy the stock the very next moment. Maybe once a story will also tell you why time is limited for you to buy the stock before it comes on big investors radar or before it rises in price. Of course, you want to buy it before this happens. Now the problem is that buying stocks on impulse is exactly like buying stuff in the supermarket on impulse. The stock may be good or in most cases it may be bad but if you don't do your homework carefully before buying it then you are simply leaving it on luck that the investment works out. I have known so many people who have purchased stocks only to regret later. So what's the solution to get away from impulsive stock buying especially when markets fall and all stocks appear attractive? Here's one way suggested by the greatest of investors like Warren Buffett and Sir George Templeton. They advise make a stock watch list. Now this is one of the key lessons of sensible investing that I've learned from following these great investors and that I've been practicing over the past few years. A watch list of stocks I would buy when they fall to my comfortable prices plays a very important role in an investor's long-term success. This is because when you have a ready list of stocks that you have researched but cannot buy because they are trading above your comfortable buying prices, you are ready to pounce on them after they fall to your desired levels during a market crash, while other investors are still wondering where to look for and what to buy. A watch list also saves you the embarrassment of buying stocks on impulse during a market crash given so many attractive stock stories are floating around. And then you realize that you made a mistake in choosing some wrong businesses. So it's important to create a watch list of stocks you would buy when they fall to your desired levels. These may be a list of dividend stocks or a list of companies that promise great growth in the future but are just suffering a temporary slowdown in their sales and profits. Now a watch list is also important when you found a great company to invest in but don't have the ready cash to invest at the moment. I won't suggest you to borrow money and then invest in such stocks however attractive the opportunity because it is dangerous if your stocks continue to fall. Your core idea of creating a watch list must be to be ready with a list of great companies that are close to being good investments but you want to hold off for a while. One of my investing rules is that I never invest in a company that was not already on my watch list. If I see a business that looks attractive which means it's a business I will not take much time to understand and one that promises to have a sustainable moat, I put it on my watch list and research it. This process sometimes takes a week or even a month, but a stock has to first come on my watch list before it comes to my portfolio. Anyways, let me now talk about how you can create a watch list of your own. I found the combination of Google Finance 
and Google Drive as a very effective tool to create a stock watch list. The beauty of using Google Drive is that you can access the watch list from any way you want. You just need to log into your Google account to view or edit it. Let me now take you through the process of creating a simple stock watch list using Google Drive. First, search for Google Drive on Google and then log in via your Gmail or Google account. Now, after you log in into the Google Drive, click on Create and then click on Spreadsheet. After a new spreadsheet opens, give it an appropriate name. So for instance, we'll give it a name of Sample Watch List. And click OK. So here is where the work begins of creating a watch list. Now I have already created a sample watch list called the Safal Nivashek watch list, where I'll explain you how to create your own stuff. Now here's a simple way you can create your watch list. Here are some of the key parameters that you should include in the watch list. So you have the company name, the stock code, the current price, the PE ratio, the earnings yield. Earnings yield is simply the inverse of PE ratio. You have the 52 week high of the stock price. The next column is the percentage below 52 week high, which shows how much low is the stock trading compared to its 52 week high. Then you have the 52 week low. Then you have how much is the stock trading above its 52 week low. Then there's a column for market cap. Then there's a column for intrinsic value, which is your calculated value based on your research of the company. And then there's a column for buying price, which is assuming margin of safety of 30%. You can have different numbers for different companies, but I've assumed 30% here. And last column is percentage above buy price, which will tell you how much is the stock currently trading at compared to your comfortable buying price. And then you have a column on notes and comments. So let me now take you to the process of creating this watch list. Now, if you see, there are some uh, items mentioned in red font. These are special tags that Google provides, Google Finance provides for you to create your own watch list. And there's a complete list, uh, which I'll share with you, where uh, Google has provided different uh, codes for special tags, which you can use to create your watch list. But I've taken the most important ones, uh, which you will require to create your own watch list. Now, all you have to do is, gather the stock code of the company from BAC. So if I want to create Infosys as the first stock in the watch list, I need to find out Infosys stock code, BAC stock code, which is 500209. Then I need to find the current price. So how do I get an updated current price? The formula is simple. Here's a tag which Google Finance provides me. So, so for example, I have included price, I have included PE, high 52, which is the Google tag for 52 week high stock price, low 52, which is a tag for 52 week low stock price and market cap, which is a Google tag for the market cap of the stock. Now, how do I get the latest uh, stock price of Infosys? All I need to do is simply insert this formula, which is Google finance in brackets B3 comma C1. Now B3, as you notice, is a stock code. So it captures the Google finance uh, stock price for Infosys based on its stock code and C1 is a special tag uh, which is price which is uh, what Google has indicated. So once you do that, once you enter the formula, uh, Google will capture the stock's current price based on the stock code. So if you enter 500209, you will get the current stock price for Infosys. Now assume you want uh, uh, Voltas as a stock instead of Infosys in your watch list. So you enter Voltas and then enter Voltas BSC code, which is 500575 and you'll get Voltas latest stock price. So this is how it works. Next, you can capture the PE ratio straight from Google uh, using the PE tag and the formula is simple, same Google finance in brackets B3, which is the stock code comma D1, D1 is the special tag for PE. So this formula will give you the PE ratio of uh, Infosys. Uh, next is a calculated figure, which is earnings yield. Now earnings yield is a figure which Graham used to look upon instead of the PE ratio. Earnings yield uh, simply means 
what is the yield that the stock is giving at a given PE ratio. And it is calculated as 1 upon the PE ratio, which is the inverse of PE ratio. Next, I capture the 52 week high price of the stock. Uh, how do I do it? The formula is again simple Google Finance uh, in brackets B3, which is a stock code, comma F1, which is the special tag Google uses for 52 week high price of the stock. Then is a calculated figure which says that my stock of Infosys is 1% below the 52 week high level. Then I capture the 52 week low price which is the same formula Google Finance bracket stock code comma low 52 which is Google special tag for 52 week low and then I calculate how much is Infosys trading higher compared to the stocks 52 week low and Infosys is almost 60% higher compared to its 52 week low price. Then I capture the market cap which is just a number if you may want to avoid or you can have it. The formula again for market cap is simple. It's Google Finance in bracket stock code comma the special tag for market cap. Now intrinsic value is not something which Google will provide you. Intrinsic value is your calculated figure for Infosys, your uh, the intrinsic value for Infosys based on your research of the business, based on your calculation um, and based on your assumptions of where the company is going. And assuming my intrinsic value calculation for Infosys is 4,500 per share, I take a 30% margin of safety. I'll say I'll buy Infosys only at a 30% margin of safety to its intrinsic value calculations. So my comfortable buying price for Infosys will be 2,700 and the stock is trading 28% higher compared to my comfortable buying price, which means I will not buy the stock now and I'll probably rather let it fall by around 20% uh, before I am comfortable buying the stock. So these last three figures, which is intrinsic value is your calculated figure. It's not provided by Google Finance and, and this 4,500 is just an assumed number which I've used um, to uh, show how to do it. This figure is again based on your margin of safety assumptions. You want a 30% margin of safety for Infosys or you want a 20% margin of safety for Infosys. Just punch in the number and calculate the formula accordingly. So this is how you create a simple watch list. You can add as many number of stocks that you want. For example, if I want to uh, now add Voltas to this list, I'll just copy Infosys uh, entire row and I'll simply enter Voltas in the company name. So I enter Voltas in the company name. I also need to change the stock code, the BSE code, which is 500575 and all the numbers will change for Voltas except intrinsic value because intrinsic value I need to enter. I'll remove the intrinsic value of Infosys, which I copied down and I'll enter my estimated intrinsic value for Voltas, which may be assuming 200 rupees and which suggest that the company, the stock is trading 5% lower than my intrinsic value estimates, my comfortable buying price which makes it a good buy. Just another example, if I want to capture another company, all I simply do, I'll just repeat the same things. All I simply do is, I just need to note down the name of the company, which is for instance, Relaxo and enter its stock code, which is 530517. And I get all information there in front of me for Relaxo again, the only change I need to make here is my calculated intrinsic value for Relaxo and assuming it is 200, assuming margin of safety, my formula, my calculations will tell me that Relaxo is around 55% higher than my comfortable buying price, which means I need to wait for the stock to fall before I go and buy it. So this is how you create a simple stock watch list and uh, the beauty of this uh, uh, product Google Drive is that whenever you open the uh, watch list, you will have all updated price because the price uh, data, the current price is all captured based on the stock code, which is updated via Google Finance website. So you don't need to really update it manually. It's all updated and all the other relevant data like P ratio will be updated. Earnings yield, since it's a calculated figure, it will automatically be updated. Everything will be updated automatically when you open it. You just need to work around your intrinsic value. Um, if there's a change in intrinsic value, you need to change your assumptions here. But the point is that uh, uh, this stock watch list uh, is a ready reckoner, uh, which will tell you whether uh, you want to buy the stock now, you want to keep it in the watch list, or you want to remove it from your watch list. Now, after having learned how to create a simple watch list, 
and after having created a watch list for yourself it's very important that you watch your watch list while i've talked about the positive side of having a ready watch list of good stocks you would want to buy at the right prices there is a negative side of keeping a watch list just because you have a ready watch list when a stock from that list falls in price and reaches your comfortable buying level you may not look at the company with fresh eyes this can be dangerous because the business that you had originally researched while including it in the watch list might have changed over a period of time it might have become more competitive or the company might be facing a new challenge that wasn't there when you had researched it originally and found it worthy of having in your watch list so the idea here is that even if you keep a watch list whenever stock falls to your buying levels always relook at the business to understand whether everything is fine fundamentally with it a major change in the business may make it much more or less valuable so a major revision in your thinking is necessary so don't just relook and act on your watch list also relook at the business whose stock you are planning to buy for it might be less or more attractive than you might be thinking whether you are training for a marathon or going camping being ready can make a world of difference the same is true for the stock market you should always be prepared with a watch list of fundamentally sound stocks ready to go whether the market is in rally mode or in a correction being prepared with a watch list is key thank you